the red buds they're gorgeous Hey, this is not the eastern red bud. This is the lilac, but it's got that same pretty purple color. And guys, I wish you could. I wish this was smell a cam because you would not believe how good this smells. Okay, guys. <laughs> hello, hello. My name is Lacey. My name is Harley. And we are A and B Lawn Care. And guys, please, please do not be upset with us because as you can tell, we are in the trailer and there's been some things that's happened in here. And I'm very, very sorry because I know you guys that are loyal, you guys heard me say that there was gonna, or I don't know if I said it, I might've put it on the screen, that there was gonna be a part two of the trailer set up. And I'm so, so sorry, but we did modifications without you. <laughs> but, uh, um, <laughs> it looks really good though, guys. And I'm gonna do a trailer tour right now. So hold on, let me turn you around. Okay, guys, shout out to Harley because he's the one that made this happen. Okay, first we, uh, well, this is a uh, Vivor or Vivor. I don't know exactly how to pronounce it, but uh, Harley ordered this. This is the three section, <laughs> three position weed eater trim trimmer rack, and uh, we have both of our weed, eater weed eaters on here. We have our pole hedge trimmer that Alloy Man sent us, and then we also have tucked in here our um, Ego hedge trimmer and our Alloy Man blower, and then we have the weed eater string right there so guys that was so so awesome this has already been such a game changer and then over here harley he built us this little um compartment for the hand tools which is super awesome so now we have all of our rakes shovels and you guys know how harley he <laughs> he loves his shovels so we got to keep that with us at all times and we'll go up here to the front guys and then this is the little the little locker deal that we was kind of talking about so it has all of these different compartments we have all kinds of stuff in here i do plan on hopefully labeling them or memorizing what's in here but i do know this one has uh alloy man a little mini blower and then all of the little batteries and some little stuff like that but this has been super awesome harley's uh, secured it to the wall Everything has, we've done pulled it several times and you know, we've been on curvy up and down, bumpy roads. Everything has been really secure, stayed in place perfectly. We want to build a little work space, like a workbench up here in the front and have somewhere to store the blower, have a place to store the spare tire and stuff like that. And hopefully guys, whenever we go to do that, we can do a video on it. And I'm sorry that we didn't, but guys, we kind of got in like a little bit of a I don't know, like a burnout. We were so super busy. We didn't really have time. We wanted to get it done. And the stuff had just been sitting there too long. So we just went ahead and did it. But I'm super happy with how it turned out. And we still have like a lot of things that we'd like to do in here. But so far, it's been super awesome. Because it's just like having a mobile shed. You know, you have yeah. all of your stuff. You can just store so much stuff in here. And, you know, we don't have it all in our shed at home or in the carport just sitting around. So it's been really, really nice to just have literally everything that we would normally work with here in the trailer with us. So we just hook up with it and go. So that's super awesome. Also, we're wearing some new shirts, some new t-shirts. Harley, he designed these. And, uh, yeah, so... A lot of really cool new things happening this season. 2024 season's <laughs> off to a great start. And guys, we hope your 2024 season is just as blessed. Yes, guys. With all that being said, guys, we really need to get started. So come on. Let's, Let's go, go mo. <laughs>
just finished up mowing and everything here at this first yard and um, Harley's doing a spray right now because this yard the weeds grow terrible in the driveway and around in the landscape and stuff so the property owner asks us to spray um, and we're doing things a little bit different this year if you guys been following along from last year you'll recognize all these yards there's uh, nothing new but we are doing you know the routine a little bit different because last year we have these these three yards that are very close together and two of them are pretty much neighbors um, but the way the driveway is set up on one of them we you know there's no way we can take this big trailer down there we were very very limited like we pretty much had all the space that we um, was gonna need to turn around with the open trailer so we already knew there's no way we're pulling this trailer down into there and uh, so then the house up here is kind of um, you know it's up it's on the main road and there's a big cul-de-sac right down at the end so it's really nice so you can pretty much turn around a semi truck and trailer if you needed to down there so what we've decided to do is to do this yard first because we used to do the other yard first but that was only because we had that yard first that was actually one of our very first yards that we got um that's been i guess like we've had that yard for like five years now um and then this yard, I think this is our third season with this yard right here. So, uh, we, and we picked up this yard because the property down there comes up the side of the road up here. And um, he caught Harley one day because Harley mowed the road up here. And he stopped him and he asked him, uh, hey, what would you charge to mow my yard? So, we kind of picked that yard up like that. So, that was uh, really awesome. And then we have another one that's just right down the road from here and it is also in a neighborhood with a cul-de-sac so we should be good to go on that as far as all of our yards so right now there's only one for sure that we know well besides the one here but there's another option because of this yard being so close but there's one other yard that we have that we can't bring the big trailer to and we there's no other yard like close to it where we can park it so we're gonna try to figure out what the deal is. Like we were thinking we'd probably just pull the open trailer to that yard, but we don't know if that's gonna become a big hassle or not. So we're gonna try to see, figure out, you know, something about that. But, uh, Harley, you just, are you finished or are you yeah, re-upping? Okay, he's not done yet. Okay, so, so yeah, so we're doing it in a little bit of a reverse this season. We're doing this yard first. And then we're just gonna drive the mowers down to the other property, mow that, and then come back up. So, uh, so that should be good. And I meant to put our cones in here. I've been meaning to do that <laughs> ever since we started pulling this trailer, and I keep forgetting. But it would be good, even though this is a, um, you know, we're in a straightaway here, so people on both sides could see and have plenty of room to safely pass us. Um, it would still be good to have our cones up just for you know so people know caution but yeah it's a, uh, it's a beautiful beautiful day it is warmed up very very nicely we're still having cool mornings but it's gonna be upper 60s today and the sun is out and it feels so so wonderful but uh but yeah i'm just trying to think if there's anything else interesting that you should know um, we looked at another little job here in the back. There's some cedar trees because, uh, this yard, both of these properties, we are, um, we're pretty much very close to Douglas Lake. You can actually see the lake from the back of, um, this property and you can, uh, the bottom property is actually lake front. The lake comes all the way up to the property, which is so, so awesome. Um. It's not like set up to where you could take a vehicle down and put in like a boat or anything, which it could be set up for that. There is an area that could be turned into that, but it's just, uh, you can walk down, you can put kayaks in. Super, super awesome. It's so, so nice. There have been times uh, when it's been really, really hot in the summer when we've gotten done weed eating and everything, because we always try to keep towels and everything with us. Uh, but we have, had to dunk ourselves into the lake to go cool off a few times and that is always really awesome and hopefully this year we plan to go to the lake more and do things like that because the past few years we haven't really 
um, hardly did anything in the summer except for work. So hopefully we can make time to do like a few fun things this year. What we did is we did end up bringing the truck and trailer down here, but we're not taking it all the way down to the yard because I just remembered at the last minute that we were going to need stuff like the weed eater and everything. So I didn't want to have to, because even though they're very close, it's still like a little piece right down the road, you know, after, you know, back and forth a few times, I'd be a little bit of fuel. It's downhill. It's trying to shut. Um, so Harley backed us in on the driveway, which I don't know how good you can kind of see through there the the leaves are just now starting to come in on all the trees and stuff but this is the driveway is fine you know like there might be a few few low limbs but nothing really that bad because we've been maintaining the sides of this driveway for the past few years and we've been keeping it pushed back more and more every single year yeah, so it gets I don't, better every year uh, that wouldn't be the problem and honestly which you could probably back the trailer all the way down there now but yeah, the, that. the thing but is <laughs> turning it around you know like there's yeah there's nowhere, there's nowhere to, turn, to around. turn around like which there are places to turn around but it goes off of the gravel into the grass and we're not trying to do that so it can get very sunk up very easily with a heavy rig like that <laughs> so how do we know because we did it because <laughs> we did it you should have seen the f-150 that had to pull this thing out <laughs> my dad <laughs> shout out to my dad <laughs> no but yeah you live and you learn that was an accident though we did not mean to do that um but that's how we know but yeah so uh, we'll see how high the lake's up i don't know if it'll be i feel like it's going to be higher than it was last time we were here which was when we built the little gate um we did a video on that if you hadn't seen it go back and watch it um it's a short little video it's nothing like spectacular or anything we just built a little deck gate but uh fun. harley did a great job on it you did too. but we'll see what the lake's looking like down there we'll see how high it is all right guys so i guess come on let's go mo You guys are from all over, so I don't know how familiar you are with stuff like that. We have, this lake was dammed up. This is a man-made lake. And 
underneath it year round is the French Broad River, which is actually the river that runs um, by our house. But in the summertime, they dam it up and then they, it creates Douglas Lake. It's like, it's like a recreational lake really. It brings a lot of um, tourists and stuff. There's a lot of marinas and uh, just stuff like that, boating activities and this and that. Um, but it's really cool. It's a beautiful, beautiful lake. If you're ever in the area, please go check it out. It's, it's an awesome, awesome time. There's lots of great restaurants and just uh, rentals. You can rent boats, you can rent jet skis, kayaks, you know, whatever. It's a, it's a really, really fun time. And guys, look how beautiful that tree is. I love, love, love that tree. That is, that is so gorgeous. But, uh, but yeah, and I was gonna show you the bank that goes down to the lake there. I don't know how much you can tell from the video, but this is actually very steep. I'm not trying to brag or anything. <laughs> or I might be, I don't know. But I, I'm just kidding, guys. But I'm actually the first one. I'm really trying to brag on Cub Cadet, honestly, not myself. But I'm actually the first one that's ever mowed this with a mower. Everyone else, like a riding mower. Everyone else has either push mowed this or we did it. And that's what um, the property owner told us we were gonna have to do when we first originally came and quoted this yard. And I was uh, I was gonna give it my best go. You know, the day, the first day we came out here, super, super hot, had already weeded a long fence row right before we came here. And I started up here and I got down just a little ways and I was like, you know what? I'm about to dry it. Which, I, guys, please always be so, so careful. Don't risk stuff. I really probably shouldn't have done that. But after I got a good look at the ground, I walked over it. It is very steep, but I figured I could probably mow it up and down. And that's the thing. It wasn't with this mower here when we first got this yard. But it was um, a zero turn. It was one of the first models that they had. I can't even remember what it was. If I can remember, I'll put it on the screen. But wonderful, wonderful mower. But honestly, this this new one puts that one to shame as far as on steep banks and stuff. But I was able to just back it down slowly. And you have to be careful because they will climb some crazy steep banks, guys. But be careful because if your deck has that middle wheel in the front of it, it could hit something like, like say that stomp right there. And it could kick it up and it could go backwards very very quickly very easily if i was trying to i could flip that mower my mower on multiple places of this bank but i mean obviously you don't want to do something like that but it it would be very possible if someone was trying to give it all the gas you know like full throttle it hit that and go back that's a big big no-no guys always be so so careful if you're learning on a zero turn do it on flat ground first or if it's on a um, like kind of a bank, make sure there's like a good safe area at the bottom that it's like a big, big open field or something that you slide down to and not like the lake, which is not water here right now. But when we first picked this yard up, it, there was water down there and that, oh yeah, that fence, that, no, that one was not there. We actually built that. It's like, so I was trying to think, I don't, yeah, that fence was not there. We built that. So it would have been just a straight slide straight down into the water but praise the lord everything went well and i've been mowing it with the mower ever since so uh yeah all that being said guys i'm probably gonna uh there probably won't be i'm probably just gonna do the weed eating around and stuff I'm probably not gonna uh set up any cameras i don't know what i'll do you never know but uh either way <laughs> harley just give me the thumbs up he's finally done this yard is like in sections. If you are familiar, if, it, if you've been following along, you already know, but if you're new, um, this yard is just a bunch of trails, really. And like, there's a little side yard here that I just mowed, but besides that, there's just several trails. And you've seen me mow, just like kind of the entrances to them. And Harley mows down, you know, all the way down. There's more up the driveway, and then he mows all the way down the driveway. But it's a very unique, style of property which we love it this is a very very beautiful property you feel like you're just out in the woods like in a, um like the national park which um 
it's very, very similar to that here. A lot of this is protected land around the lake and stuff like that. There's a lot of um, eagle habitats, protected eagle habitats along this lake shoreline and stuff. So, uh, yeah, I'm just kind of just stalling now because I'm like, eh, <laughs> I'm going to get the weed eater and I'm going to weed eat. But yeah, so I'm going to get to it and uh, I'm just going to go ahead and say it now because we're probably after this, we'll just get everything loaded back up. Unless Harley has something interesting uh, to say about this yard, we'll just meet you at the last yard. So come on guys, let's ride. <laughs>
wrap it up for today. <laughs> it's been a really, really great day. I just got really dusted out with that leaf blower because it's like, I'm telling you what, if you want to turn the wind on, go ahead and crank that leaf blower up. This is a very dusty yard yeah. anyway because the backyard it's very, doesn't very have hardly any grass. It means, it means a little work. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, this is one of our yards that we've had for a very, very long time as well. So this was one of our first yards. But the owners actually changed hands because the, the owner we originally mowed for, he actually passed away, but now his son is the owner of the house. Yeah, so we still mow for the family and we're very thankful uh, to do that for him. But, uh, but yeah, we're very, very thankful that you guys came along with us today. Yeah. Thank you so, so very much to everyone who's been with us for a while and thank you to everyone who is new like yeah. we've seen a lot of new people on there so uh, yeah, like in the comments and stuff yeah, 2024 <laughs> season has started off wonderfully guys and we can't thank y'all enough for all the support and the kind comments and we can't thank you enough for even watching our videos i mean it's just it's it's, it's really remarkable cool. <laughs> I mean, we love it so much yeah guys this really is super <laughs> awesome and we're uh, we're very thankful for each and every one of you guys and uh, I really need to get caught up because as of right now, this video here is I am four videos <laughs> behind on um, uploading. But by the time you see this, you will have seen those. So that's going to be okay. And there's no telling how many videos I'm behind now. <laughs> My future self. <laughs> no. But I'm trying to keep up. You know, even though I'm not uploading them as quick, I'm still trying to keep filming them for you guys. Every time there's an opportunity to do a video, I'm filming it. I'm stockpiling it. And we're getting it out there as quick as we can. And uh, give us any suggestions. You know, if there's anything that you think could improve our videos, um, let us know. We're always open for um, um, corrective criticism and stuff like that. No rude, mean comments or anything. But we like it if you guys have tips for us and stuff like that. Anything to help improve um, on our business, our skills, anything like that is always appreciated. Uh, so, guys, yeah, I guess we're, uh, we're going to go Maybe. home. <laughs> yeah. So, guys, if you like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Please go ahead and subscribe to our channel if you're not. And, guys, please share this video. Share it with everyone that you know. And, uh, yeah, come on back so we can do it again. So, until, until next time, time. see, see ya. ya.